Smurlock Shaman. Is Smurlock Shaman good? The answer is no. But is it good? Can we smork him down fast enough? Change your hero. Alright, fine. This way my hero can get the Murloc World Eater buff. Ah, Chad, you genius! Toast, can you play some Baku and Gendek in Wild? Ha, <laughs> this guy's toast. Please tell me I'm starting first. Please tell me I'm starting first. Please tell me I'm starting first. No, oh, I'm starting second. Um, if I start first, I think I would have bought a one. If I start second, and you place that, tell. that's another thing. <sighs> Might be GG. Aggro versus aggro matchup is whoever opens with coin. Whoever doesn't open with coin. About Hogsteed. I actually don't hate Hogsteed either. I'll never tell. Oh wow, two secret keepers. And a secret. What the flip? Love your toast, keep it up, have a nice stream today. It could be get down, but do we really care? By the holy light. If it's get down, we can just pop it with the one one we just hero powered. Reporting for duty. Oh, dot of defense matrix. Hmm. I'd rather pop auto defensive matrix now, right? I thought I might even get down, which is why I attack with Searing Totem first. But maybe I should attack Searing Totem into the 1 1 anyway. Nice, that means I can roll th this. There's some pretty nice uh, hero power rolls here. What's he looking for? He's looking for Blessing of Kings. 2 mana 2 3. He played a 2 mana 2 2 weapon and a 2 mana 2 3. Because he didn't open with his secret. Really unfortunate for this individual. That was a mistake. It was. It was. He could have buffed this up. Maybe that's a robot. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Okay, it's not get down. Could be redemption. Not redemption. When does the PVE part of it release? It releases one month later. <laughs> Still undefeated in the new year. God, I'm a deck making genius. Who knew shoving in every single Murloc into a deck would work out? Oh no, the bomb warrior! This hand is fun, in my opinion. Maybe I could have mulligan harder for a two drop. I don't have mu much two drops in this deck. The Taunt Totem is great. G rate, great. Mate.
Do I play the war leader or the amalgam? Probably war leader, right? It's more threatening. What kind of individual plays freaking um, bomb warrior day one? Absolutely disgusting. Hmm, he's gearing up for some kind of AOE removal. I'm gonna play Thunderhead so that there's three good outcomes and plus it forces out the Brawl anyway. Coin Brawl. Wow, what? And he gets rewarded with the kill. Damn. Alright. Hagatha's really good for later on. Handsome. Wait, are you saying I'm handsome? Are you complimenting me? Oh, thank you. Hmm. This only pushes a couple more damage. He's gonna heal apart. If he clears my board, he's gonna do it with some kind of AoE anyway. There's no reason to overcommit more minions to this. Unity, precision, perfection. That really sucks, but yeah, what are you gonna do? He's pretty much healing to full here. If I trade this thing, goes 28. This is 8 plus 9, 17. Hmm. Do I trade off my Thunderhead to push a little more damage? I don't like it. Then again, it's a healthy minion. I can hit face again. Agatha's great. It allows us to stay in the game. What you? Why, why are you top kicking? If he's bomb warrior, it's really good for us because bomb is so inefficient, and it's offensive. There's nothing defensive. Oh, there it is. You don't you don't want to be doing that. Wow, he did have brawl the whole time and he was trying to be a greedy little boy. Hey, our Thunderhead survived. Dude, this guy had brawl the whole time. Disgusting. No need to use second brawl here. Four health is a good amount, but I think I'll just go Light Seer. Because it's another Murloc. That is not going to be enough. GG Bomb Warrior. Play around AoE removal. Don't you overcommit more than you have to. You had to bu brawl too. If you brawled there, we could have reflood the board because we held back. 7 0. Oh. He hit a Ziliax. He hit a brawl. He hit a Dynomatic. He had anti aggro cards. Rogue. Rogue's annoying because of backstab. It's so good. So good. The sludge slapper. I keep cold lights here. Health is nice. I'm worried about backstab. Oh, the double sludger. I mean, if he backstab, he backstabs. You want to make you want to make him backstab now because um, if he close. saves backstab for you turn make me three, want to he get can evil miscreant. Thanks, bud. Much love from Alberta. <laughs> so, like, if he backstabs this, it's not the end of the world. Wow, I really want to coin this. Now, I think we just push super damage. Oh, but if we... He's incentivized to Phantom Knives here. 
10 out of 10 best meme streamer. Like, this is always being played. If I coined the Colite Seer. If I coined the Colite Seer, this guy is gonna be around for a long time. No, oh, I'll do this. It just makes his backstab really bad. And his Phantom Knives really bad. Because if I don't do that, he can fan this turn. That's why if he has Vendetta. I mean, if he has Vendetta, he has Vendetta. Hmm. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Because he might have backstab SI. If he saved his backstab for an SI, then congratulations to him. Alright, he runs a pirate package. Which makes Fan a little less likely. I'll do this. It still is pretty resistant against Fan. Gonna slurp him up a little bit soon. We can push a lot of damage, and we have burst in the form of flying boat. Oh wow, he did have it. Yeah, unfortunate. Not clearing. That's uh that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's an oopsie. Do I wanna overload next turn? I mean I don't mind, right? Now let's overload when I get lick him. Do I trade or do I face? Do I trade or do I face now? If I face there will be trouble. <laughs> I protect my Murloc Tide Collar. I force him to have something, and honestly, if he has backstabbing, he saved it all this time. Give him the credit. He needed to discover a consecration. How much is this worth to you? That's fine. He could have used this to kill my uh, underbelly angler, right? And now because he couldn't kill my underbelly angler because of the trade, infinite Murloc value. <laughs> Good order. Save yourself one health. War leader! Hee <laughs> hee! Okay, maybe try and find Bluegill here. Yeah. Slurp Grim Grimscale Oracle would be nice. Yeah, no, it's fine. Eight, 11 damage. Anything I can discover for zero mana? Yeah. Don't want to overload. I might hit Bloodlust. You could argue I should have played Colite Seer instead to have a way healthier board. And I wouldn't disagree. But the damage it push is also very nice. Ooh! 8 and 0 oh, in Rise of Shadow. Let's go! Let's go! Because why is this deck legit good? I mean, from the dawn of Hearthstone, punching someone in the face very aggressively is one of the tried and true strategy. I mean, if the dude had backstab, we would have been in a much worse position. Mm, this sounds fine. <laughs> Same deal as the last rogue. If he has backstab, it's whatever. You always gotta get the backstab out anyway. Under belly angler is so nice. It's two mana, two three vanilla stat. Nice. He's making a trade. You get backstab your power of blink fox vendetta. You can do a lot of things. You can also fall in love with me. A lot of options are on the table. He's got the backstab. Nice, he does. Wow, he didn't backstab that. That's impressive. Great show of restraint. But, like, Murloc decks, they're not necessarily trying to rush you down all the time. Like, that's the main strategy. <laughs> but, 
You can play it slow, right? You got value. Vendetta would be insane here. Hench Clan Burglar plus Vendetta is one of the sickest combo. So sick. Alright, we got two options. We can Thunderhead, Coin, Lightning Bolt, or we can War Leader, Lightning Bolt, and buff this up. What do you guys think? I'm good for Exhibit A and Exhibit B. We'll go with Thunderhead. It's like War Leader. Thank you for suffering on our entertainment's behalf. I like this. Only because next turn I'm most likely going War Leader, Lightning Bolt again. And essentially this way, I'm getting my spark value. But I would say both are pretty decent options. Like these sparks gotta be dealt with, right? Or else they're just dealing one damage each turn. And eventually I drop a little less thing. Suplex him. Ah, he's got fan. He needs to pick up Eviscerate here. Damn, son. This guy's hitting all his removals. Backstab, Eviscerate, and Phantom Man. Everything the last guy didn't have. This is sad. If he keeps hitting removal, I might uh, slowly get grinded out here. Halt. Who goes there? Oh, lordy lord. He is really ruining my day. Best case scenario is that hit spell power, I think. Ooh, this is not bad at all. This is sick. And I get the spell power. So if he doesn't kill this, I can just lightning bolt for 4 damage. Solve the Murloc. Hmm. Maybe not as bad as I initially thought. I wonder. That's fine. Hey! Good tickets don't come cheap. Why did he try to kill my spell power totem? Oh, look at all these Murlocs that gets benefit from Murloc World Leader. Boop, bop, zip, zop, zap. Mmm! Thanks for giving me a Murloc that can buff 2 3 damage. Is Salt of Murloc good? Alright, 9 and 0 so far. 9 and 0. Let's just keep winning. A fellow Merlockian. I want to go first. Going first is critical. Well, this is potentially really bad if he's Murloc as well. I want Zap or Lightning Bolt. Something that gives me tempo. Uh oh. If he tie collars me on one, I'm done. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, double die collar. Okay, what is Murloc options? I coin double Murloc. Or I can coin the Hard to say. It's definitely hard to say. I play Angler and he has something like Grimscale Oracle. That makes me very sad. You definitely do not run Murloc Raider. It's like the worst thing ever. This is fine. He's running some very inefficient Murlocs. Like he, his, <laughs> his Murlocs suck compared to my Murloc. Okay, that's fine. If I trade this in, then you can trade this off. So we'll do this. His best play would be to War Leader, and it would be really good for him. Alright, we may win the game now if he doesn't play Grimscale, actually. Oh, yeah, we win. That guarantees. 
You don't need to play Warl either because we're always taking the trade here. I should have played this first for a cheaper Murloc potential. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would have played Grimscale into here. Ten and O. All I do is win. All right, chat. Maybe we should make it a rule: five wins and we change decks. I just can't lose. Five and zero with Bomberman. Five and zero with Murloc. I eventually will lose. Our draw is pretty good, and that guy was playing a terrible Murloc deck. Five and change. I mean, these decks are good. The more decks I change, the worse it's gonna be. Change when you lose. Yeah, I'll probably lose soon. I didn't even get to play Scargill. No, we'll just play more. We're gonna lose eventually. I want to lose so I don't feel pressured Less than to three. build good decks. Because once I lose, it's like, all right, my undefeated record is broken. Magni. No one drop. We got hard mode. Underbelly is not bad because I don't imagine him being able to kill it this early on. That's fine. Alright, that's nice. Do I ever drop this on the one? That seems very little benefit to doing so. Yeah, where were you last turn? Because it's a warrior, I'm down to um, take it very slow. I don't imagine him being able to kill Underbelly Angler. Ooh. Oh, give me that Murloc value. He's coining a four so he doesn't have a coin brawl. Big mistake, buddy. I want to do this the turn before he souls out the forest. Hmm, do I want a couple of healthy boys? Or do I want a couple of Soul of the Murloc boys? Probably healthy boys. Next turn we can Soul of the Murloc. God, this is so nice. Hey Toast, have a great stream off to work. Sadly, less than three. Because this completely boxes Brawl on the five too. Let the pain speak to me. Dude, you're taking you're taking so much damage. And I'm getting a Murloc for free every turn. Oh, Lord. Oh, God, this game is. This game is done, so. I mean, it's not impossible for him to come back. I don't have any war leader, so I'm missing like a bomb card. Underbelly Angler is still nice. Yeah, our weakness right now is we need a war leader or another Oracle or my Bloodlust to send him to the Shadow Realm. If he brawls, all I get is 1-1 one, one Murlocs, which isn't actually that great. Unity, that is definitely not finish. enough. It will heal for a significant amount. Um, I think we actually just keep playing Murlocs until we maybe get War Leader. Nope, just another way to draw a hundred more Murlocs.
Oh my god, underbelly into underbelly. Even if he clears the board, I get Murloc. If he clears the board and then clears the board, guess what? I can shove in five more Murlocs. All of which, which would grant me even more Murlocs. Wait, is this legal? The weakness of Murlocs deck is that you don't have that much draw. But every Murloc I play right now gives me even more Murlocs. Maybe. You're leaving up my underbelly, <laughs> which will give me more Murlocs. Hey Tosh, hello chat. I need two damage from Murlocs. There's no point to play this because I'm already gonna draw Murlocs, right? Scargill for one mana Murlocs, which I can combo with my Angler next turn. My hand is full of Murlocs. My hand is too Murloc. <laughs> Eleven and zero. Oh. He left up the underbelly angler, and it was done once he left it up. Lights out.